Us to his face. Go, like, do more commentary. Blake Bonds got yeah, six eight, and he continues <laughs> to play hands <laughs> there. Yeah. Like, no one's gonna. Like, I think all you gotta do is like putting it very kindly. And then we'll play a big pot, and then I'll go do it. You and me, we don't play big pots. We I don't normally have it by the river. Just, yeah, I never have yeah. it. I don't have my hand that often. I only threw it at you because it's like you open when I have it. <laughs> if you're in here, I might have it. Let's oh. see. If you call, it'd be really just, oh, you just called? Me? Oh. <laughs> we don't there. care. You're folding. You're out of position. Yeah. Well, I, I like the call, though. I was going to say, if you, if you called, I was going to call, but I mean, I kind of have to call. Yeah. Any two cards? Yeah. Yeah. Those cards have to be blank <laughs> for you. Not just exactly me, getting a great price preflop. Well, that's four, all right? the fours out. Do it yet? Torelli flops a boat. boat. Okay. Beckley also hits a four. Sorry. I mean, flop trips and you have one percent equity. Oh, no, Mike, this this time, this time, Mike was sitting in your seat before and he paid it like four times. Yeah. <laughs> so. And yet it's Blake Bone who's betting, or Bon, whichever you prefer. It's going to be harder for him to win this pot than for Jessica to get the rest of that Last baby food out of the jar with a fork. Eight times. Eight times, yeah. I paid it once this session. I'm probably, like, all of us are supposed to probably have paid it like twice by now. The variance. At least by the end. Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm like, Phil, Phil fading this. Here. Honestly, I don't it's think it's a, a joke, five in the yeah. deck. <laughs> I swear. It's a joke. Torelli and Beckley both smooth call. Epic fades with Phil. PT, you have a spoon. Uh, yeah, let me grab it. <laughs> yeah, let me look at my purse. You could have at least gave me like the, let me check. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was pretty convincing. If you don't have a spoon, then you're, you're, Does you're a far chopstick away. Chopstick work? Ahead. Well, obviously you have chopsticks. Obviously. I mean, it's just like, you just have them always. And you all no wonder why they can't find anything in there their really purses because no they're full of chopsticks. They, like, double with so many, they double with so many I don't things. think that would help in this situation. <laughs> I think you're better I off sticking. The I'd use the other end of the fork. See, that's the, the Boy Scout way. It's there. more spoon-like. You your hair. There's, there's you really smooth there's calling again. You can't use them for it. Right. Honest. You can stab someone with, them with their eyes. Or something. Just don't give people ideas. I'll name something you can't do with chopsticks. Eat baby food out of a jar. Ding. I mean, you could, but it'd just be really slow. Excuse me, I'm oh handing a secret message. Only Phil can read it because of his goggles. It's written in a different ink. He's needed on the mothership. Josh Beckley, by the way, stands to lose a significant amount of money in this oh, hand. Thanks, this is a pretty icy cold deck. In the meantime, I'm more interested in what's written on that note that Phil Locke is looking at, and Jessica opened another jar of baby food. Wow, Beckley folds. Josh knows only one of these two jokers can have a four. He is suspicious. Nice fold. I actually feel like Blake's bet kind of just cost Alec money because without him in this pot, Josh loses a lot more to Torelli. River is a five, and I don't know how much money Blake is going to bet here, but I just have a feeling something's going to be bet. There is no check in this man's game. Goonies never say die, and neither does Blake Bond. 6,100. Oh, my. The sound you can't hear right now, but should, is Alec Torelli tap dancing. Yeah, see that face he's making right there? That's the poker player equivalent of doing cartwheels and fist pumping himself into oblivion. All in. What does Blake Bond do for a living? And don't say play poker because I'm the funny guy here. He is tilting harder than a pinball machine on the Titanic. Well, Blake has realized that although it wasn't for trying, he is going to have to fold. Obvious. Everyone knows that you have nothing. You played it valiantly. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. Just trying. He's a, he's a real good trier. Good night, you princes of poker, you kings of South Florida. Coming up after the break, it's two fills, one pot. Fill hey, up. quit writing mean stuff in the comments, guys. I'm just kidding. Everything you write helps us. It's called engagement. Go to town. Also, like and subscribe. But you'll write the mean stuff, too. It's all good.